Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University, and this is episode 5 of How to Survive EVE Online. Let's begin by going to the agent list in the station information window, and right-click Aura and start conversation. Now Aura wants us to travel to a location in another solar system, retrieve an item, and bring it back here. So, you're going to look under objective for the location link, that's this thing here, and you're going to right click IDART or whatever your destination is, select and set destination. Then right click your own station and add waypoint. All right. That sets up the autopilot and now click accept. It's time for you to leave this solar system pilot. Start by setting your destination in the mission window. Which we've already done. There are over 5,000 systems in the known universe, and all of them are connected by stargates. By setting a destination in your ship's computer, you make it easier to navigate the network of stargates. Undock when you are ready. So close this window and hit undock. We are now in space, so hit next. To get to your destination, warp to the stargate leading to it. The stargate you want to use will be highlighted on your overview because you set the destination beforehand. You may find it easy to reverse the distance sort on your overview so the most distant objects are at the top of the list. Left click the stargate highlighted yellow and click warp. Warp drive active. If you have closest objects near the top, your stargate may be a moving target because people are constantly coming in and out of the station, thus causing the length of the list to keep moving around. Now it's worth pointing out that while your warp drive can get you to different points in the solar system, it can't get you all the way over to another solar system. That's why you need a Stargate. Once you have arrived at the Stargate, jump through to the next solar system. Click Next when you have arrived. So you can either right-click the Stargate and select Jump, or you can just left-click the Stargate and then click the Jump button. Either method works. And now that you are on the other side, click Next. And it doesn't speak to you this time. Alright, right click in empty space, go to Agent Missions, the Academy Aura, Encounter, Warp to Location within zero meters. Warp drive active. And let's click Done on the tutorial. By the way, you may be wondering what all those yellow diamonds are. Those are cargo containers deployed by other players. Yellow means that they don't belong to you, and if you manage to take anything from them, uh, you would be flagged as a thief. And the owner could shoot at you without Concord intervention for the next 15 minutes. In this case, however, most of those containers were set up and labeled to act as cheap advertisements. You've arrived at the Academy. Good work. Now, approach the Academy and retrieve your certification documents from inside. That is the white diamond labeled Galente Academy Office. So I just left click it and I already clicked the approach button. Let's click next on the tutorial. You may want to take a closer look at this fleet of ships. The look at function allows you to get a closer view from one of your camera drones. Yeah, basically you just left click something on the overview and you click the look at button. 
it's worth noting that and the t built in tutorial will tell you this but you can't look at something that's about to go into warp I'm gonna reset my camera so left click the Academy office open cargo open your own cargo hold and click and drag the Show Information command can give you detailed information on anything you have selected. That's the last button of the selected item box. Now you need to return to the system you came from. The system name will be displayed in your mission journal, which stores information about any active missions you have. Open the mission journal now. Alrighty. Set the destination to your starting system through the mission journal. Actually, we don't need to do that because we added the starting system as a waypoint to begin with before we even left the station. Now the destination is set, warp to the highlighted Stargate and jump back through to your starting system. Speak with me again at the station to complete the mission. Warp drive active. The process of returning where you came from is basically the same as the process that you used to, uh, to get here. You warp yourself to the Stargate, and then you just click the jump button once you're at the Stargate. It's worth noting you have to be within 2500 meters of a Stargate to jump through it. Left click the station and click dock. Warp drive active. Docking permission requested. Sometimes when you drop out of warp at a station, Docking you might land a couple accepted. of kilometers out. So you'll have to travel there on sublight engines to get the rest of the distance. Right click Aura, start conversation. And click complete mission. Excellent work. You've now learned all of the basics a capsule pilot needs to know. Now that you've covered the essentials, you're ready to complete more advanced courses. Throughout each course, you will be rewarded with more money and items than you'll be able to make elsewhere, and completing the courses will also reward you with new ships. There are a number of courses available, from combat, to exploration, to industry, and more. Speak with me again when you're ready to begin. And we will get started on that in the next episode. In the meantime, thank you for watching.